Do you have a job for me? Hello, Emma. Yes, I've got something interesting for you. Our freelance reporter, Jack, has disappeared. He was working on an article about an artist named Alex Dean. The last time we heard from him, he was on Dean's ranch. Here, take a look. This video he made is all we have. I'm on Alex Dean's Black River Ranch. It's very secluded, and I think something strange is happening here. I can see black shadows through my camera. Here, look. You can't see them with just your eyes. I'll contact you when I learn more. This is strange indeed. You're an expert with cases like this, aren't you? Go to the Black River Ranch and find out what happened to Jack. Very well, sir. was Jack. Hmm. I should go after him. What just happened? Whose hand did that? in Alex Dean's family. It's been exactly a year since the famous artist Alex Dean decided to live as a recluse on his Black River Ranch. His five-year-old daughter, Sonia, was kidnapped from the family's house. His wife, Sarah, couldn't bear the grief and passed away. The police are still investigating this case and are trying to find the girl. We offer our sincerest condolences to Alex and hope to see his marvelous paintings again someday. Oh, I feel sorry for Alex. I wish I could help him somehow.
evening, miss. My name's Lisa. Please come in. It's freezing outside. Thanks. It's nice to meet you. Have you come to meet Alex? I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Emma Roberts. I'm a journalist for Fear for Sale magazine. I'm looking for my colleague, Jack. I saw him entering the house a few minutes ago. I'm afraid you're mistaken. There's no one else here besides Alex and our gardener, Harry. I'll call Alex. Hello, Emma. I'm Alex Dean. I understand you're looking for Jack. He interviewed me a few days ago and left afterwards. That's strange. Where could he have gone? Can I help you with anything else? Sorry for bothering you. It's already dark and a snowstorm is coming. The ride back to the city would take hours. Can I spend a night here? I can pay you if you'd like. All right, Emma. You can stay the night. Before you make yourself comfortable, I would like to see your ID. I'm not the one to let strangers into my home. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Hmm. <laughs> and only a one-day difference. What did you say? You can stay, but only for one night. I don't like visitors. The guest room is at your disposal. If you need something else, please talk to Lisa. I'm very busy. I feel like something's wrong here. There was that strange reflection of Lisa in the mirror, and Alex seems suspicious. I've got to find out what's going on. That was... eerie. That's odd. The woman on the painting looks exactly like Lisa.
Hello, Alex. It's been months since you last wrote to me, and I'm worried. I'm sorry that you had to go through such a tragedy, but you have to move on. Think about our parents. They didn't do anything wrong. They're falling apart knowing that you live all alone on that godforsaken ranch. I'm starting to think there's something really wrong with that place. Please at least write me back. Love, your little sister, Betty D. I guess Alex doesn't keep in contact with his family. Wait, this is my colleague Jack. Why is it signed Martin Spencer?
strange. What does Jack have to do with these people? these people. Wait, I think one of them looks familiar. Yes, I saw her in the mirror instead of Lisa's reflection. Alex's wife, Sarah. I need to find out what's keeping her soul here. I just saw a ghost. It's Jack. I must get to the backyard to talk to him. That's Jack's cell phone, but it's broken. I've got to find a way to get the information from it. It might tell me something useful.
lights on. It looks like some sort of ritual. She wants me to follow her. I wonder what's out there. Alex's daughter was kidnapped and his wife died, but he's still here. He's definitely hiding something. I need to find out what's going on. Thank you. 